those flowers he bears slightly turned? Uh, no. Nah, uh, yeah. The face of them a little bit? Yeah. Alright. Let's try that. Yeah, good, good one, Tom. Alright. And, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start recording. You see, as this hat indicates here, if you can see it, stay curious. And I love to stay curious and so forth. So uh, I lead into everything with that, but let's get rid of that. The dining room has now been turned into a studio. She's going to actually have to eat supper in the kitchen or at the couch or someplace else because I got the whole 10 foot, 8 foot dining room table and the surrounding areas uh, laden with Halloween crapola, if we can call it that. Pretty scary. And I just picked up this nice black duct tape that's going to be used to formulate the the head of the porcupine. Going to take the uh, scream mask and morph it into uh, a porcupine head. Kind of a homely old uh, big oversized head of a porcupine. With unsightly uh, whiskers, uh, a couple quills coming off the back, everything. Oh god, you got patience. <laughs> Ed, Ed can't believe all the detail of crap that goes on. Number over one, there. I never liked Halloween. Ever. <laughs> so that was a bad. Even as a kid, I didn't like Halloween. <laughs> so when I quit, are you going to take over? Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> the artistic porcupine. I started this idea the day after Halloween last year, and it uh, was been up there fermenting all this time. And uh, I, I just, maybe only a month ago, decided exactly how to go about it because uh, some of my first ideas were pretty far-fetched, wouldn't, wouldn't have uh, held up. But I got some good advice from uh, the, the big nozzle puppet tears and, uh, and after that everything seems to just be falling into place. Many of my favorite ways of teaching art or thinking about art it's, it's all part of the costume. So it's, um, it's a chance to make a, a fashion statement if you want. Oh boy, I tell you, this old apron that I made at the art club, spirit club, back in the good old days, all of a sudden I glanced there and I thought about something, looking at those letters, STP, which means Speedy Tom Perkins for one thing, but how about if it meant spooky Tom Perkins. Halloween at Marianapolis without spooky Tom Perkins? Silly Tom Perkins? I don't know. It's going to be different. I can't help when I do these costumes to milk them for all their worth. So not only do we have a huge celebration every year at Marianapolis Prep School, uh, Celebrations tend to, to go further on that same day or the next day or or maybe even weeks later. So the costumes tend to live on and on and on. And I think that's as it should be. You that's a good yeah, idea. You take a slice of potato and you carve in the potato and that's your stamp. Wow. Wham bam. Thank you, Sam. You know, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'd, I'd be worried that it wouldn't put enough ink on the paper after it's soaked up. But well, I guess you can uh, adjust that. Yeah, just pull the right moisture in. factor. You know. mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I'll have to try that. I never thought about that before. Mm -hmm. Potato prints. And you know, uh, potato prints. You, they used to. I guess they still do. All the styrofoam platters that you get the meats on at the supermarket. Oh yeah. 
those are wonderful. Carve out of that, yeah. Yeah, make little dams. Well, I gotta get going. My horse isn't tied up. <laughs> he could run loose, and so I gotta hop on that that pony and ride on home ASAP. And the funny thing is, we had a cat with the same markings as that thing, so I have a lot of pictures of this cat. I think that cat was named Oreo. That I got from over around Marianapolis, matter of fact. Ah, uh, yes, those memories of Marianapolis Prep School. They were something special. Having taught 23 years in Central Falls and then moved on to Marianapolis Preparatory School in Thompson, Connecticut, that was quite a treat. Those magic moments at Marianapolis from 1990 till present day. It's just a, a great school and it continues to grow. And uh, the, the current administration and teachers and student body are wonderful and just can't express how, what a great uh, environment it is for for uh, high school students to uh, to get a good education and life experience really there are just so many other wonderful uh, aspects to it even the travel from Mar from Manville to Marianapolis was a wonderful trip every day uh, nice country drive from here to Thompson Connecticut Yes, it is. It's just with the mist. I, I couldn't recognize it. Yeah, that's the farm back there on the right. I actually had one student one summer from, from Korea. She and I did artwork for her portfolio the whole time. And she, um, well, as I say, she was from Korea. And we did all kinds of neat projects with her. Uh, one of them was we came here strawberry picking. And I'd take photographs of her and then we did paintings based on that strawberry picking over here at this farm. But there were a lot of other things. You know the pots and pans in the kitchen of some of these school uh, dining rooms? Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, right. I mistook moose for you. <laughs> you what? You can see the resemblance? <laughs> I mistook you guys for one another. I could just go on endlessly explaining how enjoyable my experience has been with Mary Annapolis. So, you know, it's, um, it's, it's an endless uh, potpourri of, uh, of, of memories. forget the many, many different uh, outfits over the years. 25 in total, that's a quarter of a century, if you think about it. It's going to be interesting to see the next phase. Thank you.
It seemed to get better and better year after year. How can that be? You know, you think you reach a plateau and you're there, done? Uh-uh. It goes further and further. And, and it's just truly spirited and exciting. Sometimes a little spooky, but great. Oh, Marianapolis campus in Thompson, Connecticut. Spooky it is, and spooky it will be. Oh! You can bet on that. Ah! All right. Did you also get the other black bag, though? All right, we're ready to go. Dang. Yeah, I like the uh, sunshine. Isn't that head of school the nice guy? Wow. I tell you.